For principle number one, the application of the tape goes directly on top of the skin. The skin should be clear of any excessive creams or oils and any hair. Clipping may be required with a set of clippers. You don't necessarily need to shave, but just clipping any excessive hair will do. For principle number two, the tape should only be applied to skin that is not irritated or broken. A test strip of tape can be applied to the skin and worn to see if there are any reactions. If a reaction does occur where the patient experiences any increase in discomfort, the tape should be removed and a damp cloth wiped over top of the skin and then let your healthcare professional know about the reaction. For principle number three, once the tape is applied to the skin, it will remain on there for multiple days of continuous wear. We typically recommend about five days of continuous application. The tape should be applied approximately one hour before engaging in strenuous exercise or bathing. Once you have gone into a bathing situation where the tape gets wet, simply take a towel and pat it dry after you get out. Principle number four, handling the tape. Select the pre-cut that you'd like to use, tear it away separating it from the other ones. Then when handling the tape, what you want to do is turn it over. Along the black lines, there are perforations. You want to tear the perforations before beginning the application. From there, localize where you want to apply the tape. Apply section one by gently peeling the backing away from the tape, not the tape away from the backing, and laying the tape over top of where you want to apply. Gently peel the backing all the way off, letting the tape come in contact with the skin and then rub over top to activate the glue. The adhesive is heat activated, so rubbing over top of each section as you apply it is important. When handling the tape, you want to peel the backing slowly and hang on to the backing so that you do not touch the adhesive. Touching the adhesive will diminish the amount of time that the application will stay on the skin. So peel the backing, Keep your contact on the backing. Gently lay the tape down in contact with the skin, coming behind with your finger until about 90% of the tape is applied and then remove the backing fully, laying the tape down in contact with the skin. Once applied, rub over top to activate the glue. For the Y strip, Remove the Y strip away from the other ones, turn it over, tear along the black lines, gently remove part of the backing of section one to expose the tape without touching the adhesive, lay over top of the area that you want to apply, then remove the backing completely and gently lay the tape down and then rub over top to activate the glue. Once again, peel the backing a little bit at a time, not touching the adhesive, and then smoothing the tape down onto the skin with your finger. Wait till about 90% is applied, then remove the backing completely and then rub over top to activate the glue. The same for the other projection. Peel the backing away from the tape. Gently lay the tape down in contact with the skin, letting your finger follow behind, waiting till about 90% is applied, and then remove the backing completely. Rub over top of the tape, to activate the glue. For the X strip, 
Remove away from the other ones. Turn it over. Tear along the black lines. For this one, you can remove the backing of section one completely. Do not touch the adhesive. And then place the tape over top of where you want to apply it. Letting the tape come in contact with the skin. Then rubbing over top to activate the glue. Then start peeling the backing away from the tape and gently smooth the tape down in contact with the skin. Wait till about 90% is applied and then rub over top to activate the glue. Proceed to do the same thing for each of the projections. Always remember to rub over top of each section as you apply it before moving on to the next one. Principle number five is how to remove the tape. Once the tape is applied and worn for approximately four to five days, then it comes time to removing it. What you want to do is peel back a little bit of the tape. You want to stretch the skin as much as possible in front of where you're peeling and then gently pull the tape back like so. Do not remove the tape when it's wet. Always wait for the tape to be dry before removing it from the skin, as removing it when wet creates more suction between the adhesive and the skin. <music>